Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to study chapter 4 quadratic equations. 4.1 exercise introduction. The standard form of quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And we have to form the sentences. We have to form the quadratic equation by the given sentences. Exercise 4.1. We have to check whether the given equations are quadratic or not. So for that question number 1, x plus 1 whole square is equal to 2 into x minus 3. First we will, first we will solve you. In that number 1, the, in that number 1 question is x plus 1 whole square is equal to 2 into x minus 3. First we will equate the left hand side of the question x plus 1 whole square is equal to x square plus 2x plus 1. And the right hand side is equal to 2 into x minus 3 which is equal to 2x minus 3. By equating both of them, we will get x square plus 7 is equal to 0. And it is a quadratic equation in form. Number 2. x square minus 2x is equal to minus 2 into 3 minus x. First, we only we have to substitute. So, take the solution or equate the right hand side only. Minus 1 into 3 minus x is equal to minus 6 plus 2x. By equating both the sides together, we will get the answer x square minus 4x plus 6 is equal to 0. And it is also in the form of quadratic equation. Number 3, x square minus x minus 2 into x plus 1 is equal to x minus 1 into x plus 3. First, we will equate the left hand side LHS which is x minus 2 into x plus 1 which equals to x square minus x minus 2 and right hand side is x minus 1 into x plus 3 is equals to x square plus 2x minus 3 and by taking both of them together we will get the answer minus 3x plus 1 which is not in the form of quadratic equation. Number 4, x minus 3 into 2x plus 1 is equal to x into x plus 5. First we will equate left hand side x minus 3 into 2x plus 1 and which will give the answer 2x square minus 5x minus 3. Then we will equate right hand side of the equation x into x plus 5 which is x square plus 5x. Equation, taking equation both this together we will get the answer x square minus 10x minus 3 is equal to 0 and it is a form of quadratic equation. Number 5. 2x minus 1 into x minus 3 is equal to x plus 5 into x minus 1. First we will take left hand side 2x minus 1 into x minus 3 and after equating it we will get 2x square minus 7x plus 3. Now taking right hand side x plus 5 into x minus 1 and after equating we will get x square plus 4x minus 5. Now taking both together and equating them we will get the answer x square minus 11x plus 8 and it is a form of quadratic equation. Number 6. x square plus 3x plus 1 is equal to x minus 2 whole square. Now equating right hand side x minus 1 x minus 2 whole square which equals to x square minus 4x plus 4. I am now equating both left hand side and right hand side together. x square plus 3x plus 1 is equal to x square minus 4x plus 1 gives 7x minus 3 and which is not a form of quadratic equation. Number 7 x plus 2 whole cube is equal to 2x into x square minus 1. In fact LHS First we will equate the left hand side LHS is equal to x plus 2 whole cube is equal to x, x square plus 8 plus 6x into x plus 2. This can we can write by the identity a plus b whole cube is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b. And this gives the answer 7x square plus 12x plus 8. Now we will equate the right hand side 2x into x square minus 1. And which equals to 2x cube minus 2x. Equating both of both the sides together, 7x square plus 12x plus 8 is equal to 2x cube minus 2x. It gives 2x cube minus 7x square minus 14x plus 8 
is equal to zero, which is not a quadratic equation form. It is a cubic equation. Number eight, x two minus four x square minus x plus one is equal to x minus two whole cube. First, we will equate the right hand side x minus two whole cube. And by using the identity a minus b whole cube is equal to a cube minus b cube minus c a b into a minus b, and we will get the answer of this equation is equal to x cube minus x x square plus twelve x minus a. Equating both the sides together, we will get two x square minus thirteen x plus nine equals to zero, which is a quadratic equation. Question number two. Replacing the following situation in the form of quadratic equation. So here we have the first situation is given. The area of a rectangular plot is five twenty eight meter square. The length of the plot is one more than twice its breadth. We need to find the length and breadth of the plot. First, we suppose the breadth of the plot is equal to x meters. Then the length of the plot will be two x plus one. As it is given, it will be the twice plus one more than the breadth. Area of plot is equal to five twenty eight meters square. Length into breadth is equal to area of plot. Two x plus one into x is equal to five twenty eight. And by equating this, we get two x square plus x minus five twenty eight is equal to zero, which is a quadratic equation we have found. In the number two, we have given the situation: the product of two consecutive positive integers. The product of two consecutive positive integers is three zero six, and we need to find the integers. Quadratic equation. First, we suppose the one positive consecutive number is equal to x. And the another will be x plus one, and the product is given three zero six. By multiplying x plus one into x, which is equal to three zero six, we get x square plus x minus three zero six is equal to zero, which is a quadratic equation. Number three, we have given the situation. Roman's mother is twenty six years older than him. The product of their ages after three years from now. Will be three sixty. We would like to find Rohan's present age quadratic equation. Suppose the present age of Rohan is equal to x. Age of Rohan's mother is equal to x plus twenty six. Product of the ages after three years is equal to three sixty. Age of Rohan's after three years will be x plus three. And Rohan's mother age after three years will be x plus twenty six plus three. Which is equals to x plus twenty nine. By multiplying both of them, x plus three into x plus twenty nine, the product is given three sixty. And by equating the equation, we will get x square plus thirty two x minus two seventy three is equals to zero, which is a quadratic equation. In number four, we have given the situation: a train travels a distance of four eighty kilometer at a uniform speed. If the speed had been eight kilometer per hour less than, it would have taken three hours more to cover the same distance. We need to find the speed of the train. For that, we suppose the speed of train is equal to x kilometer per hour, and the distance covered is given four eighty kilometer. The formula of displacement speed is equal to displacement upon time. So time is equal to displacement upon speed. Which is equal to 480 upon x, and the decrease speed of train is equal to x minus 8 kilometer per hour. So the new time will be 480 upon x minus 8. By subtracting both of them, 480 upon x minus 8 minus 480 upon x is equal to 3. And by dividing this. We will get the answer x square minus eight x minus one thousand two hundred eighty equals to zero, which is a quadratic equation we have found by the situation given. And here we have completed the exercise four point one of chapter four.